Let's check what email you used for Amazon. Now, if you sign up for an Amazon account, but you're not necessarily sure which email address is associated with your account, I'll walk you through the entire process. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first option is to open up the Amazon app here on your iPhone or Android, or if you're on a computer, go to amazon.com. I'll walk you through these steps if you're already logged in, as well as if you're not logged in. If you're already logged in, you can tap the three lines at the bottom, right? And then you can see under shortcuts, you can tap on account here. This will allow you to just scroll down and under account settings, let's tap on login and security. And you might be asked to log in to your account again. And you might even get a one-time password. And let's just hit sign in. After you go through that process of entering in your password again, all that stuff, you can see your name and your email address below that. I can tap on edit right there. It shows me what my current email address is and I can always change that to a new one if I wanted to basically manage a new email address on here. Now, let's say you're not already logged in and you're not necessarily sure what that email address is and password to be able to log in. Let's open up a web browser and just go to amazon.com. You can hit sign in at the top right. And then now the nice thing is you can either enter your email address or you can also enter in your phone number. So I can always just enter in my phone number here and hit continue. And now let's say I don't know the password, I'm gonna hit forgot password. Now you'll be able to see all I have to do is hit continue here and it will text me a one-time password to be able to log in basically without needing that email address. So you can see email or mobile phone number. So you can go through the entire process of getting into your account with just your phone number without necessarily knowing that email address after you do log in, then you can go through the process on the first steps to go through and see which email address is associated with your account after you've logged in. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you just have any questions. Thanks, guys.